All right. So, um, and here comes Eileen. Beautiful. Um, wonderful. So, um, maybe before we dive right into, can you just kind of share in the chat just a brief, how are you doing right now? Just uh, so we know where you are uh, in terms of how are you entering that space today? You can also a bit distracted, but settling in from Naomi, very good. If you want to um, share in words, just speaking it out, that's possible. Building up energy, happy to be here. Wonderful. Gathering. I don't know whether Lear is already. Um, oh, that's Unai. Ah, uh, yeah, very good. <laughs> Jeremy is excited, uh, feeling good for 5 a.m. That's right. <laughs> and Ray gives us a big smiley from like, whatever. <laughs> Sarah is energized, just got out of an appreciative inquiry workshop. That's beautiful. All right. Wonderful. And I would invite you guys to be very careful about letting folks in because we may have some very early birds. Yeah. So, okay, Dawson is maybe someone that we anticipation that busy and excited comes from Lisa. Very good. And maybe I'm going to. Susan, you're a little early, so I'm going to put you back in the waiting room. Very good. Okay. So, with that, I would love to hear um, maybe by group one first, um, who's going to be front of house, who's going to do the chat, who's going to, uh, or what are your roles, how are you going to, um, so we know where where you are and and, um, and and that you have things for you sorted out and everybody else knows then as well. Yeah, and let's help make this explicit and clear who's in what group by changing our names so that we can add on one uh, to the to the front of our name. So if you add on what group number you're in. In the front? Mm hmm yeah. Okay. So Naomi is our front of house. And Luke is the timekeeping and copying, pasting the instructions in. And then uh, Simona, who I do not see here yet, uh, is going to be managing breakout rooms, or I'll do it if she's not here. Right. <clears throat> Good. Okay. Thank you. And uh, group number two. Ah, might that be Simona? Let's find out. Yeah. yeah, group number two, who's up? Yeah, that's um, Sarah, Unai, Lisa, and Bruno. Um, and uh, I'll do the introduction and the first um, instructions um, of the, the first steps. Um, Yunai is uh, managing the breakout rooms, I think. <laughs> Are you with us, Yunai? Yeah, exactly. Did it work uh, out well? Yeah. Cool. Um, Bruno is handling the chat and able to take over whatever needed, <laughs> I understood. <laughs> And uh, Lisa will uh, do the, the 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 second instruction, I think, and the the final the the ah, the group discussion. Sorry, um, but I'm not sure, Lisa. I may have said something. I was gonna ask if uh, I. 
we didn't specify who's going to be doing the third question. <clears throat> so we need to send it over the chat. So I don't know if that's a Bruno thing or a me thing. Um, yeah, and we need to change then uh, the breakouts. We need to put the pairs into groups of four and then send the third question, right? right? Yeah. Um, so what we could do is, um, I talk about it in the introduction. I tell them what will happen. And then we just do it. Yeah. And send it send it over. But there was a question from Sonali about the chat uh, that is maybe not working as we thought in the breakouts. I'm not sure we can we can talk about this question maybe later, but um so I think it's clear for for group two. Just this question with the can we send questions into the chat we need to to check okay that is something i'll note for myself so um let's okay. yeah let's first go to group number three and then we're going to address that okay yeah so group number three rolls i can enter yeah, um, I can introduce our role. So, so we've got Eileen as front of house. Sonali um, is timekeeper. Is that right, Sonali? And doing an introduction. Um, so I'm doing the introduction. I think Eileen said she didn't need a timekeeper. Okay. Yeah, Ray is doing a close, and I am doing uh, breakout rooms. So I'm doing the tech. I have some questions, just one little question about, I don't know if now's a good time, but I just don't know how to preclude people, some people like say, for example, Sonali from going into a, into a group. So hopefully I can just figure that out on the fly. We didn't talk about that yesterday. Um, yeah, I think, I think we've got everything sorted out. Um, yeah, we're going to drop it at just a, instructions into the chat before people go into breakout rooms so they don't need further instruction very yeah. good cool okay. thank you very much so maybe that's a good um point also to the questions that um both um sarah you were mentioning no was it sarah or was it sonali with regards to the chat can we send things um into the chat into the breakout groups you can, you have whatever you want in breakout groups that people know. You have to share it up front in the pleno. So, before you send people into the break, either you get them back, um, in order to share the further instructions, um, or you um have to send the instructions before you send them into breakout rooms at the very beginning if you don't want to get them back from the breakout groups for a third question. Does that answer your question? You're muted, Sarah. Mm -hmm. like that. <laughs> uh, yes, uh, thank you, that answers. And I think it means for our group that we need to um, send the question one and two directly. So there's no surprise for the second. And maybe before, um, sending the third question, we can bring them back into the plenary and then send them into groups of four, or shall we send the three questions? I'm afraid that people do not understand when to work on which question. If we send everything before. Um. So there is there is an option to in fact send a message to the breakout rooms, um, but maybe what's even more convenient is that I just put the questions on on some slide deck and share that slide deck with the breakout rooms. I tested that uh, today, so I think if you're in a breakout room, you still see the main chat. So I think we can do maybe. I mean, it may be a good idea to have the slide deck also, but it's um, if you send things in the main chat, I think the breakout rooms see that, and then you can also copy that into the breakout room broadcast message. The 
the broadcast message is just kind of it's very short for, now. for for five seconds or something like that and then that it disappears so for the instructions to be you can what you can do is um maybe so you have people in groups of two i understand right or yeah. something like that and then maybe when you put so you maybe post everything into the chat up front before you send them out and then you say like when in groups of four this is the question to be answered. And then you put people into breakout groups of four, and then you can say, now is the time for question three, for example, via the broadcast. Okay. Is that an idea? Bruno, what do you think? Is it will be your role to post it? Um, I mean, yeah, we can do that. I can also handle it with the slides, so. I don't what know. Do you prefer? Yeah. I I think I did not hear some parts. Um, the question is, what what do you prefer to do? You know, I'll I'll faster. take I'll take care of it with the slides so that we stick to the plan. And okay. Yeah. Right. Good. And then Sonali, with regards to the to the to the chat, so what is what is there to be to be considered? What is what is your what is your kind of input and, and question? And um... sure, and apologies, I dropped out because my battery died, but I've pl unplugged it now. So um, when I was so I was doing workshop yesterday, and essentially anyone who goes into a breakout. When they come out of the breakout, they can't see the previous chat. Um, and I've just tagged uh, Vera, you and Jeremy on LinkedIn because someone's posted a uh, a way of kind of working around that. And I think it's to do with a new feature that Zoom have brought in, which has resulted in this. So if people are posting, posting um, messages in the chat, then when people come back from a breakout, they don't get to see it. So as a host, we see everything if we're not going into a breakout but um yeah so the quick resolution is we just if anybody after people rejoin from a breakout we repost the instructions if need be exactly like the yeah but there is also a way of turning off a particular feature which um which is what this message on linkedin says and that means and we don't need to do that so that might be a kind of uh the workaround is it's to do with the new meeting chat experience. If you turn off this option in the Zoom settings on the website, it works again as expected. I have a um, just a clarification for Ray, because at the very end, we're going to be doing a waterfall on the and so what now? And so, Ray, you were going to, in absentia, we assigned you the task of kind of debriefing the, the waterfall at the very end before we turn it over to Jeremy and Vera five minutes before we end. Um, okay, so say a little bit more about that. Well, the last question is, um, so what now? Um, it's um, what what are you taking away um, from this that you can use tomorrow is the question. And so we're going to do a waterfall and they'll all appear in the chat box at once. And then okay. you can Thank ask. You. Okay. Um, and so I also just have a question to make sure that we have the full 25 minutes to make sure that the time is going to be managed so that we don't have to keep modifying as we go. Yeah. Um, but so there's a couple of questions about this. Like, are we saying that we're really only doing the waterfall? We're not actually having individuals offer up things. It's simply everyone all at once in writing. Yeah. So, so for the for the um, for the what um, and the 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 so what questions, we we have that combined into one 10 minute breakout. Right. But for now, what no one's going to speak. Everyone is just going to to type into the chat. Yeah, and then you can debrief, and, and if there's time, you can ask one or two people to share. Okay, um, Vera, Jeremy. Um, previously, it was mentioned to me that you thought that you wanted only uh, two minutes at the end. You need five. Is it is that the request? Well, well, it's like like the idea is very much like you stick basically kind of we have a, people are going to come in 
Then it's going to be kind of a little intro from us, uh, Jeremy and me. And then we just go into give it to the first group. Um, and then you stick basically to the 25 minutes that you have and um, hand it back over to us so we can do a quick debrief of, okay, on a scale to one to five, uh, what you've been learning in the last 25 minutes, is there, any, uh, is there something that you learned about liberating structures um, or for your life in general or about the topic that you can apply tomorrow? And then we give it to the next people. So basically we'll kind of, I think we're going to be okay to answer directly your question with only two minutes at the end, but the idea is really to stick to the 25 minutes as good as possible. So the flow, everybody has enough time to go through their structures. Is that, does that answer your question? Yeah, okay. Two minutes will be fine. I'm, I'm, I love you guys so much, but I'm extraordinarily pessimistic that we'll be on time. So don't worry about it. Like that's 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 part of the it's part of the learning journey, guys. You know, we are heroic adventurers, and we're gonna try this thing out. We're gonna see how how it goes in reality, and see what the gap is between our best laid plans and how things really work out. Um, may I just ask Eileen a question? Eileen, do you want me to put the questions, the three questions, in the chat, or are you doing that? Um, yeah, if you could do that, the two questions first and then the third. Yep. Yes, and very separate. Thank you. Any other questions that are arising here right now? Are you okay to try and run and roll? Uh, I would need to be a co-host also. That's right. Uh, Don't forget you and I. I think, Jeremy, you need to do that right now. Oh. And with Sonali as well. Co-hosts. Yes, I would like to make everybody a co-host. You get godlike powers. Um... The other thing that that we thought would be um, uh, that we would suggest is that, of course, while you are hosting your liberating structures, that's why you are now having the one, uh, the ones, the twos, and the threes uh, in front of your name. Uh, while you are hosting your own um, structures, you're of course uh, not gonna. Um, you're not going to be into breakout groups, but we would invite you. In the other, when other groups, the twos are hosting, for example, that the one and the threes are going into breakout groups as well, um, etc. So that you have an experience around that one. And maybe also take along uh, the experience that we then afterwards can share with one another as a, in the feedback session and debriefing session when we see each other in two weeks. Yeah, and this is actually a really good opportunity to make use of yet another structure that is simple ethnography. So. If you can, while you're in these breakout groups, I know there's a lot of stuff going on. I don't expect it, but I just want to offer it as an opportunity space. If you can have a part of your brain sort of in the observer mode and just take note of what you see happening in that in the in the event, right? Um, if you think about, for those of you who did what, so what, now what, if you think about this, especially the what, the factual observation, keep your eye out for just and, and have sort of a note about what you what you see occurring as free as you can from the so what and and of course the now what but just take note of whatever factual observation pops up um, and that'll help you well, um, help. Jeremy I'm sorry because we're not going to be in the small groups doing this the what so what and so um, how do we observe so throughout the rest of the call throughout the rest of the call when uh, so for sections in your instance, Eileen, for sections one and two, for heard, seen, respected, and for Triz, you uh, you're 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 basically not busy, right? So you'll be in the participant role, and in that participant role, just take notes about what you what what you see occur, both in the plenary, right? Your your feedback, your coaching notes. For, for one another, as well as in the breakout sections, sessions. So if, 
you know, questions pop up, if there's a particular point of data that, start, that stands out as salient and relevant for you, then just take note of it. And we can use that stuff in the next session in two weeks time to debrief this. One tiny little detail that I'm seeing here right now, when you're, um, I would invite you, Naomi, and also you, Bruno, to just make the one at the beginning of your names slash the two without the brackets, because when you are creating breakout rooms, it's easier to recognize if everybody is the same. So you put those people who are in your group, you put into an extra room, for example, so they can come back into the main room. And so you can sort out easily um, who is going to be in which breakout room or or not. That, that makes things easier for you when you're creating the breakout groups. All right. Mm, one, one question. So we, we all remain in the plenary during the breakouts. You, when you are hosting, you, um, well, you probably, when you are making kind of the breakout groups, uh, you, you cannot just kind of make people go into the main sec, uh, into the, into the plenary. So what I would suggest is for you, when you are hosting with your group, put all your people who have the same number as you into one breakout group, and then they know they can come back into the plenary. But for the rest of us who is uh, not hosting that particular section, we, this is the suggestion. We are going to be into in different breakout groups, just participating into in the in the role as well. Is that clear? Yeah. Now you are having your thumbs up. Um, Anna, for you, uh, who is managing the breakout rooms, that was clear as well. Um, just to repeat, so that means that I can't do like an automatic assignment of anything. I need to just determine the amount of breakout rooms and then go to assign manually and then you separate can, us you can no. also you can also go automatically and then afterwards you still can kind of move people into ah you know like you ah. everybody's popping up and then you just look out for the threes and put everyone into breakout rooms ah. or if the groups are big enough of course if you're having uh, then people are just not going to join the your people from your um from your group are not going to join the the breakout rooms Ah, uh, so that's an option that they that my group of three just stay put and don't join anything. Yeah, if you well, guys can do that, that would be great. <laughs> Number threes, it stops me from having to learn a new skill. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, yeah, but you also good. want to can make sure that you don't that? end up with groups with just one person. So you do need to be attentive to who's in the group three in case uh, it's supposed to be pairs and one of them is from group three and the other one's not. So I think you will need to do some manually looking at the breakout rooms. It's um, you'll you'll get it. It's not um, you just you'll see there's a name there and it says move to some okay. other room. So and okay, the pro tip for, for the pro tip for you as breakout room minder is, is get started right away. So when, so in the third act, right, uh, there's, there's always some explanation. So while who's, who's doing front of the house for you guys, for Eileen, right? So while Eileen's doing the, Hey, you're going to do what, so what, now what, and this is how things are going to go. You can already like just be proactive in, getting those breakout rooms and doing all that fiddling around stuff. Um, Thank you. Let's check. Sorry, Anna, what, what was it that you wanted us to do? I missed that. Oh, uh, it's okay. We sort of, <laughs> okay. uh, that's fine. You don't need to do anything. I've got it. And, and can I just check, so in terms of putting things into the chat, so Eileen, mm -hmm. I'm going to put in the what, so what instructions um, after I've done my intro and when you're introducing. Yes? Eileen, are you there? Eileen? Whoa. <laughs> Hopefully coming back. Do we have an estimate for how many people are coming? Yes, um, there are quite a few people who have been reserving. I think we've been cracking 
at least we've been cracking the 60 people uh, number of uh, who has been reserving 68 people, whereby usually it's half or a little less who are, who are joining. So you can approximately measure with about 30 people, I would say 30, 35 people. That's what I would think who's gonna be there. Indeed, and in the background right now, I'm sending everyone a suspicious looking crypto link. This is to claim your participation badge for this event. And if you know what a wallet is and you have one, use it. If you don't, just claim it with an email. And that'll work out just fine and dandy. All right. And like, like Vera said, right, we're here in a very brave space. You know, we're here because we want to learn. Um, we're here because we are are doing that learning thing together, right? And building relationships as we do that. And um, of course, there's there's no monopoly on the truth, which seems a little weird, but I mean, everybody's gonna have a different experience of this experience and that's just the way it rolls. So lean into the, the learningness. Whatever happens is the only thing that could happen. Whoever shows up with the right people, that's you guys so far. Whenever it starts is the right time, you know, whenever it's over, it's over. Okay, it's 30. Um, everybody ready to kind of uh, go and roll. Welcome back, Aline. And I would now let people in, basically. I wish you lots of fun enjoy um and we'll debrief and and celebrate together is there like a liberating structures battle cry or something <laughs> yeah maybe <laughs> we should do that right now <laughs> let me hear your war cry <laughs> yeah, yeah the woo saw that's the might be the liberating structures but that's the, the deepest breath you can imagine Welcome everyone. Welcome Sinue. Welcome Conrad. Welcome Joan, Steve, Elena, wonderful. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thanks for hanging out. Yes. Welcome to the Liberating Structures Learning Journey Recital. We're just gonna wait for one or two more minutes for everybody to join who wants to join. And then we're gonna hand it over after a quick introduction of what you can expect to our wonderful first group. Hi, Steve. So indeed, if you, I see Luinia um, having a tea here. If you want to grab a last glass of water or tea, please feel free to do so. Welcome. Amen. Team Hydrate. I always love this this beginning part Coming where in. I see old friends and I meet new friends. Welcome, welcome. And I try and take deep breaths to still my panicking and racing heart. Mm -hmm. Full of excitement. Welcome. Still people coming in. Beautiful. So, Jeremy, do you want to kick us off? Totes, let's do the damn thing, right? Thanks, everybody, for joining the Liberating Structures Learning Journey. We're here as, as sort of like the, the 
uh, recital is a, a nicer word than trial by fire um, or baptism by fire, but that's kind of what's going on here. It's like we're, we're bringing a lot of new energy and uh, new learning into this community of practice. And I just want to thank you guys for showing up and witnessing that and attending to the learning and the opportunity that we've created for, for ourselves and for each other to try new things out and uh, see how things go, so to speak. Um, so in this context of this learning journey, which, uh, you know, these nerds with these numbers, wave nerds with numbers, wave to everybody so they can recognize us. Uh, they've been on this learning journey for the last three months, and they're here to sort of show and practice what they have learned for, and give themselves a, a live opportunity to display and practice. And so what we're going to do is we're going to explain, explore the theme that is going from isolated and stuck in your own thinking and confusion um, and making a transition towards a delightful group um, uh, experience. Um, and so with that being said, we're going to do three different acts. We're going to start off exploring that what it's like to be stuck in your own thinking. We're going to we're going to go transition and explore what that in between going from stuck to delightful group experience is like. And then we're going to sit and, and resonate for a bit on the being in that delightful group experience. So after those three acts, we will have had a great exploration of this of this space together. And I don't know, was I supposed to say anything else, Vera? No, we, maybe one more thing. Um, there's going to be the three groups uh, who are going to host you in each of these sections today. And after each of these sections, we're going to have a very brief reflection of what have I learned here today? So this is going to be our transition moment between each of the structures. And we just look very much forward to, to do that together with you, to experience that and learn together. And um, yes, and with that, I would say we hand it over to our first group who's going to help us explore what being stuck or isolation is about and how we move in and out of that. So, uh, the first interaction pattern, sorry, there's a bit of feedback. And yeah. <laughs> um, one of the participants and I are in the same room. So we're going to talk about uh, the first interaction pattern, which is called heard, seen, and respected. Um, it's an exercise for uh, practicing more empathy. Sometimes we underestimate just how important it is for us to just be heard simply uh, through whatever experience it is that we're experiencing. Um, and sometimes it's unfamiliar for us to know how to involve uh, the surrounding people that are sharing the experience with us um, in our experience of feeling isolated or where we're, where we're not feeling heard, seen, and respected. So um, I know it's natural to also um, understand isolation as being a, a purely negative thing, but there are also instances where perhaps it's a positive uh, experience for you in the moment, right? Um, but uh, the intention is to provide our undivided attention to whoever it is uh, that we, that is needing the space uh, to be created for listening. So we're going to start exploring um, our own experience. Maybe think of one, one uh, memory you may have um, of where you felt isolated or not heard, seen, and respected by your peers. Or uh, it, it doesn't have to be something extremely uh, painful. It, you can. We're inviting you to um, share from your level of comfort. Let's think for one minute. We have a Luke is our timekeeper. He's going to tell us when the one minute is up. Uh, just think of one time that you didn't feel heard, seen, and respected. Okay, starting now.
Okay, so time is up. Um, so someone has started moving folks into the breakout groups um, uh, before we gave all the instructions. Yes, I created the rooms so you can join. You, you sent it. You sent everybody in, but we need to give the instructions first. So, do you want to close all the rooms, Simone, and bring everybody back? Um, just to give the full explanation of what we'll be doing in the fifteen minute. Can you put me back into Georgia, in the room with Georgia? I've been <laughs> thrown out. Yeah, we're just going to complete uh, the instructions before we move everyone into breakout rooms. Okay. In our breakout rooms, we are going to, we invite everyone to share uh, their experience. If they're comfortable. Um, please be respectful of people's privacy. Um, Folks are still coming back from the oh. breakouts. So let's give it just 20 more seconds. Hi, Christina. This is John. Yes. Hello. That's a joke. What's hey. I'm just finding somewhere to um, sit. I've just been commuting, so I'm going to take a little while to um, join with video. Naomi, I think everybody's back. I'm going to give the overall instruction. Okay. So the overall instructions are as follows. Um, you thought for one minute about your experience of isolation, and now we invite you to, uh, one at a time, share for four minutes um, about a story that when you did not feel heard, seen, or respected. And the intention is to not ask questions, not judge, uh, simply listen, and we're not trying to fix anything. We are just creating the space for the heard and the seen to and respected to happen. And to clarify, we'll be sending everybody into breakout groups with pairs. And so there'll be two partners, one of whom will start by sharing their story and the other one will just be focusing on listening and active listening without adding suggestions or comments and so forth. And then we'll send a timer notification to you and we'll swap places. And so the other person then will share their story and the person who first shared then will be doing the active listening and then we'll have a few minutes to uh, for the group to debrief at the end. And we'll send some of those instructions through to the chat. So look at the chat and look out for the breakout messages and we'll set the time for you so um all right so we'll send everybody over into breakout rooms now Well, all right, we're still alive. Hey there.
Greg, are you here with us? I was alone in my room. I don't think that was an intent. Well, so we're going to put you in a room with Brenda then. <laughs> um, we will. Wait, I'm moving you to manually to some rooms. One moment. Huh? Thank you very much. Hey, Steve, were you um, in a group or not successfully? I was just on my own. I figured I would jump back here and at least hang out with you folks. Great. Great. For sure, Steve. Can you move yourself into a breakout into room like 17? And I'll jump in there and dance with you. Uh, I don't think I can move myself into a, into a room. Okay. Oh, it looks like there's people everywhere. Oh my god. I'm re I'm redirecting people that are alone in the room. Sorry, I couldn't I counted the, yeah, the first folks. time, but it's okay. I'm just redirecting everyone. Oh, no okay, Elena, we put you in a different room now. Um, so there should be somebody in there. And uh, Steve, I'm gonna send you to a room with uh, somebody here. And I think some of the rooms were contracted, so you couldn't, I couldn't see yep. the participants. No, it's just that I created too many rooms for 41 participants. I counted the double with the, the total in the first page, and then I doubled, and I didn't count mm -hmm. every participant. So I created the 25 rooms, and it was for 50 participants, and there are 41. So too many rooms for a few participants. <laughs> that was the problem. And, and Simona, people from group one um, uh, will uh, uh, don't go into the breakout groups. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Simona, you working on finding room for Brenda? Or do you mean to do that? Yes, I'm trying to understand why people they don't join rooms because they are assigned, but they didn't join. <laughs> We can maybe we can just proceed here. And that's it. Yeah. Because I think it's yeah, if you want to share, you can okay. share with us, or I will move you so, to the room. Yeah, because it's a yeah, it's so paired. Sorry, Brenda. <laughs> no worries. How about, Brenda, why don't I meet you in room, in a room, and we can, I can at least hear your story, lady friend. Right. I can send you guys to room 22. Yeah. Awesome. Chair uh, me, let me see if I can find you here. You cannot. I'm, as a host, 22. I, I'll jump in. All right, I'll see you there, Brenda. This meeting is being recorded. Hmm. You heard the internet lady. Uh, 
Welcome back, everyone. So I hope uh, everybody uh, enjoyed the 10 minutes of reciting your experiences of isolation to one another um, and also the experience of being heard, seen, respected and how... Sorry? Yeah, they, they're just fine. They're muted now. Okay. Um, now, what we're going to do in breakout rooms of four, because this is another liberating structure, one, two, four, all. We started as a reflecting at the individual level. Then we went and shared with a partner. Next, we're going to join a, a, another pair of partners. Um, and we're going to share with one another what it was like to share and what it was like to listen. So what did it feel like to tell your story? And what did it feel like to listen to your story. Um, so we'll take five minutes and do that in groups of four. Uh, sorry, we apologize about the breakout room um, confusion, but uh, yeah, this I think we have it down now. <laughs> so Naomi, the, the prompt for this next section is a little different there. It's the one that Luke just put in there. So the foursome group Oh yeah, and then we're discussing the patterns exactly. Uh, so in in your conversation about um, your sharing experience, please also point out any patterns or any themes or uh, common elements that you found to pertain to all of your stories uh, about isolation uh, and also from listening to everyone else's. So Simone is preparing some groups of four for everybody. Um, and let's see. Okay. So Simone, I'll work from the bottom. And yes, sorry, it take four. a little bit of time because we're 42. Sure. So in the meantime, okay. if someone wants to share something very relevant, it would be of help for me. Thanks. Does anybody follow the work of uh, Gabor Mate? Yeah, I love Gabor. So this exercise, when we were uh, learning about it, this liberating structure, it made me really remember a lot of the teachings Gabor uh, has from all of his work that you know we are all going through life with traumas and we're inheriting traumas from our parent because Children are learning traumas from their childhood, from their parents. And I think this exercise is a great way for us to uh, bring out the, the, the trauma chains that we're all carrying, much like Gabor says. Um, and because the experience of experiencing a trauma alone is what keeps it in ourselves, right? Uh, and when, you're, when you finally break the alone, uh, aspect of it, you you find that you become free of it. So that's kind of butchering his uh, his uh, teachings a bit, but I highly recommend listening to his work. I mean, he's he's a medical doctor with so much experience. He, he's worked with addicts for fifteen years in Vancouver, and which is the highest uh, density of a, a addict population in North America. And yeah. So Naomi, I think we're ready with the um, with the groups. Oh, um, great! So, so yes, so okay. See you back in five minutes. Okay, there's one group, one room of, with two and uh, one room with three. 
So I or see. I do one room five or I leave it like it is. <laughs> um, like? Uh, why don't we, I guess we can leave it as it is. I think Okay. Sheen and Kokeb, I, um, yeah, I think we leave it as it is. Anyway, breakouts, keeps, breakouts are forgivable. Yeah, no, it keeps it uh, like it was. I didn't know. I mean, good. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, that is that does help. Learning by experience. <laughs> Learning by experience. Most definitely. So we're across our time bound. So my question for you guys might be: How might we wrap up real quick that does any amount of justice in this all space? Any ideas there? Oof. Um, because we are over our 33 minutes. Yeah. Yes, we're over the 33 minutes. Um, one, one simple way would just, oh, sorry, Luke, Luke, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. I was just saying that, that, you know, part of this exercise is to help us to share the experience of isolation and some of the tendencies and patterns that may have arisen. And now we're going to move you into another exercise that um, helps, you know, to is an, yet another way of beginning to break up those pat that uh, pattern of isolation. Yeah, I agree. I mean, we just uh, leave it at that or we, yeah. Yeah, so we were supposed to reflect as a whole group, um, but I guess for another five minutes, but I guess we can skip over that and replace that with what you just said and kind of explain, uh, yeah, we're going to start a new activity, but, and then kind of explain maybe the point of the first one, as in like, yeah, exactly what you just said. Um, Jeremy, the explaining the point of the first one, um, you Early on, you'd made the comment, you know, that you could talk about this stuff forever, but you wanted to make sure we experienced it and people's experience varies and so forth. What's your take on uh, us offering our interpretation versus? So, so there's, I mean, obviously we have a field of tension. It's really good to come back together in the all space um, and to cross pollinate across across groups. We have done that to a, what I would say a minimum specification by having groups of four um, that at least across another pairing, you folks have had the opportunity to, to sort of share and talk about what it's like, what it's like in a context that's this big, like 40 people in all has a real tendency of being like turning into crickets. So it, what, if I wanted to do anything, I might just say, you know, you know, bookmark the, the all and say, hey, I think your your transition, Andrew, feels really good of saying, hey, what we're going to, we started exploring what it's like to be in that experience. And what we're going to try and do is sort of exaggerate those patterns of that, that create such experiences and then just move on to the next thing. Because the experience that folks have had is the experience that folks have had. It's, it's kind of like, I don't know, there's, I think Naoma also did a really good job of sort of explaining um, already. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, uh, Simona, can you uh, can end the breakup groups? Yes. And Simona, there is an, ex in an um, when the breakout rooms are closed, you probably saw that there's two buttons, there's move and then there's exchange. And so I guess exchange just means swap people. <laughs> um, so if we wanted to get different groups for this next round, if we wanted to, whoever's managing the breakout, rooms for round two um yeah but uh, this will be managed by the person that is managing the breakout rooms for the other group not for not from me and also i mean i suggest for us to have then a roundup meeting to check what functioned and what didn't function among us and the coordination and everything because for me it was everything very confusing <laughs> but it's okay i mean yeah so as folks come back, Andrew, if you just want to offer up that transition, okay, and then we'll make it. We'll make the move. Okay, Un Unai is the breakout room person for this next round. Um, so. yeah, I'll clean them up. 
Okay, we can just close them all, and if we close right. and reopen, then that'll randomize. Exactly. The okay, welcome back, everyone. Sorry for the abrupt. Uh, yeah, we don't have a lot of time, and uh, yeah, to reflect. But um, okay, so and, Naomi, is... one one adjustment in the interest of time overall, because we we have another exercise we want to we need to transition to, so. Uh, in some cases, there's a third part to this exercise as a whole group. But I think here, what we wanted to do is, now that you've gotten some feeling for the experience of isolation and what that's like and and what it's like to overcome isolation, uh, we'll move on to a next exercise, a separate exercise called TRIZ. Um, and so, uh, Sarah, I think, are you leading this? Yes, I am. Hello, everybody. I'm delighted to be here with you and to introduce you the next exercise. So in this, in the first exercise, uh, we all, uh, you all uh, have connected with your past uh, experiences of isolation and the feelings you, you had in this situation. Um, and now we are going to identify and destroy the causes of isolation. Um, so Tris is a, a very fun way to create actionable results. Um, and you, you'll see how this works. So I will not give uh, too much explanations about it. Um, we'll also work in this uh, one, two, for all mode. That means that uh, you will have a little time to, to reflect on your own, then you share in pairs, and then we will bring you into groups of four, and in the end, we will have a group discussion. Um, so there are three questions, and the first sequence will be um, to send you in a pair, in a group, uh, in a breakout room uh, of two people, and to, to work on the first two questions. So we'll also share the questions with you in a chat. Uh, I read them to you so you can prepare yourself. Uh, the first question is, what is the best way to sabotage group interaction and isolate people? <laughs> Weird question. And the idea is that you reflect on it for one minute and then you have two minutes to share two minutes for the two of you. So one minute per person. So it's very short. Just go to the essence directly. Second question, which of these things have you done in the past or might be currently doing? Um, same procedure, one minute to reflect on it, two minutes to share. And after that, you will be sent into groups of four directly in order to uh, reflect on question one and two for four minutes, four or five minutes, and then respond to the third question, that is what first step will you take to stop each of these sabotaging behaviors? Okay, so you get uh, the, um, the instructions in the chat, of course. Mm. Take some notes of the most important elements, the most important words, um, and, and of course, continue to listen actively as you did it in the first exercise. So the question one and question two are already in the chat. Um, I don't know where we are in terms of breakouts, Unite. Uh, we, wow, we are ready, so we can all go into breakouts and see you later. Enjoy this exercise.
when I went to my breakout room, there was nobody else there. It was just me. Okay, can, can you try and go again? Okay. Yep. Okay, so where's our group? <laughs> and so I've got room on my own, so I've come back, by the way. Yeah, it looks like Philip Clark is alone in room 14. Ah, uh, Lisa is back. Okay, great. And uh, Bruno? So, Nali, can I, can I send you there to room 14? Guys, how are we keeping track of time? Until 18. Well, I, I'm keeping track of that. Still okay. five minutes to go. Maybe we can give a little bit more time um, just because my partner had to switch partners. Like, I, I, I got put in a room with somebody and I wasn't, so we just started having a discussion then Andrew joined and then we switched out. So I just want to make sure that you know people get it. Okay, right. let's do one minute extra. And then I would, I would wonder where, where might you guys shave time? Where we shave time? Mm -hmm. Well, we majorly shave time by only doing one, one, two for all. So. Righteous. Yeah. What happened to Bruno? I don't know. I don't see him in the, in the room. I see him. He's in oh, room he's 12. Somewhere. 12, okay. Christina. Because, um, okay, so he was the one who should send out the question number three into the hey, chat. Bruno. Hey, what's up? Um, ah, Bruno, you're back. <laughs> yeah, it was, a bit, uh, it was a bit surprising that I ended up in a pair. Um, but... Yeah, if somebody's keeping up on the time, I think we're like two minutes in or something. You yeah. Know, taking care, I think. We decided yeah. to just add one more minute because of the confusion. Is your partner in a room with somebody else right now? Right now she isn't, I think, unless somebody has moved her already. Oh. And Sarah is also in there. Bruno, are you... Do we, do we want to send again the question the question number two so that they hold switch? on I can give me a second now it works for some reason so now everybody should be able question one be able to see question one okay is it time for question two yeah it's already time for question two okay. Where did the toolbar go? Okay. Perfect. So they all see the the screen? They should, yeah. Um, that was great. Everyone is back. So um, and, and in fact, that was another way to hijack a meeting, right? To to put uh, a slide to everyone. <laughs> 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 this was a little surprise moment. So we had to bring you back before uh, sending you in the <coughs> of four. Um, so uh, this is our delightful group interaction for today. Um, stepping in um, in an improvisation mode. So um, uh, Yunai is uh, preparing the groups of four, so you will be sent back uh, in a minute, and I give you the, the instruction. So it's the third question. So you will start in your group, you will have four minutes to reflect on the question one and two. So what came out? Share the list 
of uh, things that you that you brought up. And uh, when you're done, then you will respond to four of you to the following question. That is, what first step will you take to stop each of these behaviors? Is that clear to you all? <laughs> Fine. Um, Are there any questions before we go into the groups of four? <clears throat> That's, um, I don't see any hands raising, so it looks like we're good to go. Yes. Okay. So there is this last group with only three people. Well, no, it's only two people. Um, I invited Lisa there, um, but I don't know if it makes much sense or we join, we put, move them to some others with five people, right? It's maybe better. We cannot hear you, Lisa. Sorry, I'm happy to join the, the room. I just, I didn't realize I was supposed to. So what number was it? Uh, 19? 19, yes. Okay, I'll go there. And then I put you, Bruno, there also. It's fine. Um, I'm I'm good here, actually. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me go there then. There is another room, uh, room thirteen. That is uh, the only three. Ah, uh, true. That's because because of Bruno. Ah, uh, mistake. Sorry. Well, I, I guess it's still interesting, right? Like a new question. So they can they can have discussions uh, at the three of them as well. I think. <laughs> you know what, Jeremy? I put this exercise in every workshop I do now. <laughs> I, I love <laughs> it really much. It is, yeah, it's, it's so fun. Really good way of uh, switching perspective. Mm. No doubt. That's, I remember. That's why it... Yeah. Yeah, that's that's why you did it so fluently, Sarah. You've been practicing. <laughs> yeah, I, I really like this, and and it's uh, it's fun, and it's surprising. It's I think it's my favorite uh, liberating structure. <laughs> yeah. For sure, it's a good one. I remember the very, very first time I did Triz in like a live, well, like uh, a live environment. There was this one guy in the room who was just like totally horrified. Like, but if you if we speak about these things, they might come true. And it was it was it. I mean, it it's it's a reaction. It happens. Um, and I was just like. That's that's interesting, right? Yeah. <laughs> I guess could you? Does you know? Maybe it maybe it may maybe he's right. I don't know. Yeah. It was interesting, like watching the group like trying to like talk him down from the ledge. Like, no, like talking about a thing is not the same as a thing happening. It's okay, right? Like if we talk about getting into a car accident, see. No car accidents. Everybody's <laughs> okay. We're safe here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I like trains. <laughs> but actually, it's the it's the opposite because uh, when you talk about it, then you feel like, oh, we are already doing it. <laughs> That's the funny thing. Right? Uh, separation and whatnot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll take a short bio break. See you in a minute.
Design your dream, inspire your team. What? How's it going, Jeremy? Um, it's going. Right. <laughs> on a on a scale of one to five, what's uh your uh, return on time invested? <laughs> Hold on, that's my line. That's my line. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's cool. It's it's really good to see. Like, just 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 uh, I'm I'm so happy that we like started off the gate with like this like immediate like oh breakout breakout room chaos like yeah there we go that's why we do it now we know <laughs> like, mm -hmm. who needs who needs practice anyway <laughs> <laughs> totally. yeah it's fun how many people are we in the end over 40 right yeah ah, that's good 40 actually mm -hmm. Yeah, that's great. Good. If, if, I mean, it's quite a big group. Uh, and yeah. a pretty warm room. I see, a, I see a lot of familiar faces, a lot of new faces. So it's really cool to see that. That I mean, you, Little did you know that we're creating a, a pretty radical opportunity for cross-pollination, you know, amongst our, our, our per personal and sort of quasi-professional uh, Communities as well. Okay, I'm I'm inviting them back. Okay. So now it's Lisa who takes over, right? Yeah. Great. Mm. <laughs> Bruno, it feels like you're dancing to um, uh, Never Gonna Give You a... Like, I, it's just. Yeah. This meeting is being recorded. I'm going to do that in my next workshop. I'm going to rickroll everybody when we come back from a breakout room. It's going to be epic. You guys weren't supposed to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> It was a little unsettling. <laughs> well, welcome, back to the, welcome back to the main room, everyone. Um, so now that we've completed our groups of four and our reflections and our brainstorming the solutions, um, we're going to use this main space to share um, some things that came up. Uh, we're going to reflect basically on the on the last question all together and um, see what we have all come up with. So does anybody want to share what they discussed in their groups of four as possible solutions um, to the problems that they identified? So I, I can start. Yeah, so I think the most basic thing is to do what we just did, meaning to explicitly agree on what, the, what are ways to hijack a, a meeting and um, to, to have this as a common understanding before we talk about how do we prevent it. And I think if we all agree on what it is, it's already 80% of preventing it. Did anyone else have a similar conclusion or something totally different? Mm, yeah, I'm just going to speak for our team. Something um, that we mentioned was training. Uh, we realized that most of the time uh, people are not trained to be in these very decentralized structures because we're used to this typical top-down structure where if you don't have a badge that says manager, uh, you don't really have the right to talk. So when you give the space to everyone and they can speak, you have those who are louder, those who are quieter. 
And so you need to kind of like onboard people and setting up kind of like the rules so that everyone understand how they should act in these types of environments. So education was kind of something we discussed. If I may say, you know, hearing you say that makes me just think about setting expectations, right? So that people know how to behave. Yeah, absolutely. Steve, do you want to speak? You're raising your hand. Uh, yeah, I was thinking, you know, we, we spent a lot of time on that idea of, um, just kind of setting guardrails and guidelines and conventions and establishing context that facilitated participation in specific ways, right? So making it very clear what the purpose of the meeting was, whether it's, you know, a space for contrarian opinion, or if, you know, everyone would be best served under the circumstances to be very solution focused, right? And aligned wherever possible. So there's a lot of you know, I think ambiguity that we take for granted that doesn't serve constructive dialogue and being very clear before we even start about why are we doing this? What are, what's the expected outcome? What does good look like? What is counterproductive in, in our collective opinion? What are we going to try to do? And all of those things, we just sort of come to the meeting with our own personal understanding, but without a clear collective agreement and i think that would save a lot of uh a, a lot of challenges and um you know potential isolation by people who like clarity and also like to to have clear guidelines on how they can best contribute to a conversation nice yeah and put in the chat that ambiguity we take for granted uh, that doesn't serve constructive dialogue. So it seems like even the nature of, of these solutions moves us from sort of individualized thinking in our own heads into a more kind of collective problem solving uh, mode. So it's nice. Uh, Flavia, do you wanna go? Yeah, thanks. Um... So in our group, we shared as, a, as an issue uh, interrupting people and how sometimes uh, interruptions are, in fact, necessarily and necessary for the group interaction and how it could be done in a way that it's, it's, um, it's health, healthy and uh, allows people to understand that they are actually being heard and there's interest in their story. And prior to that, and uh, when I was sharing about things that I do, uh, we were talked about self isolation like how sometimes some people choose not to contribute and kind of keep their ideas to themselves and how this could also uh, harm the group interaction, like choosing not to interact and how also judgment, how we judge people can cloud our understanding and really prevents us to really uh, communicate effectively and and get in the deeper level of listening to what they're saying, like judgment can cloud also our interactions with people. And what I thought of sharing as a, my step to, to start uh, contributing, so yeah, I should talk more and say things. And during the uh, our four group, I could not share. <laughs> and and I couldn't also, I couldn't interrupt people and say, yeah, I need to interrupt you so I can can share. So I was kind of in the in this uh, conflict, though I should interrupt to share or should, and I, and I chose what I normally choose is to kind of not share, but I'm sharing it now that uh, it's important also to create space for, for everybody to say something and have uh, a saying because some people people tend to not speak and and uh, another thing that I think it's important is to practice non-judgment and because uh, uh, even though we have to um, interrupt somebody if you're feeling like this person is a burden yeah you're going to show it out through your uh, intention and communication so practice practicing non-judgment is also really important so we can really get what the people say and, and uh, get into a generative dialogue and really go through and have a, a perception uh, of what they're sharing. 
and have a effective communication. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. Um, I do want to hear from Dunya and Christina, but I want to make a note that we're running short on time. So if you guys could be a little bit mindful that we need to move on to the next group, but uh, go ahead. Thank you. Yeah, uh, following up on, on Steve, his comment about the ambiguity uh, reminded me this idea of making culture visible and so having making very clear what are the values or the shared purpose of a space and just like Flavia was saying suspending judgment could be a cultural norm uh, and and it's a really important one which we spoke about in our group in the context of uh, having just so many different perspective in a room and especially people who don't know each other and who come from very different cultures. So um, just that, um, thank you. Thanks, and I'll hand it off to Eileen. Okay, Sonali, you wanna start? Hi, yeah, hi everyone. Um, so thank you very much, Lisa. So what we're going to do now is uh, look at our final um, liberating structure, which is called What, So What, Now What? So what you've experienced so far is sharing um, your experiences of isolation through seen, heard, respected, and then looked at uh, what some of the reasons for that might be and how we can um, overcome that through TRIS. And thank you for your reflections. So I'm going to hand over to Eileen, who's going to take us through this. Okay, beautiful. So you're learning, um, this is the third of 33 liberating structures. Um, called what, so what, and now what, that's what it's called. So what we're gonna do is put you into groups of three for 10 minutes, and you're gonna um, discuss the following two questions. Uh, one is, what have you learned about isolation and group engagement today? And then the second question is, why is this important? So we're gonna put you in groups of three for 10 minutes to discuss those two questions, and we'll meet back. Sorry, Jeremy and Ray, somehow you didn't go into a room. I'll put you into a room together. You can't tell me what to do. Ah, oh, Jeremy. Yeah. As the meeting host, oh. uh, I'm, I am immovable. Is, oh. there a group that, is there a group that is short on participants though? No, uh, everybody's got three. Awesome. Very buttery, if I do say so, folks. So I've broadcast into the chat the instructions again, so hopefully they've got that there too. Thank you. Okay, so when they come back, it'll be 10 of. Um, and so I'll just go right, if this is okay with the group, I'll go right into the waterfall. Um, third question, um, what people are taking away. Um, and then I'll turn it over to you, Ray. Um, and there won't be much time. You're on mute. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> it's going really well, going swimmingly, it seems. Mm -hmm. Well done, Anno, with the uh, breakouts. It's a small thing, but it feels like a giant tech it's leap. Thing. It's a big thing. I think it takes real it's courage, a... and I need to take that step this time. So, <laughs> well done. I think, um, I think, Jeremy, did you mention set everything up early on? So I was doing that in the background, and that certainly alleviated my my fear that suddenly everything would go a bit, a bit sideways. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Like yeah. I said, it felt really clean the way you guys sort of like jumped up and everything like here we are now <laughs> catching our breath like whoo I know right. yeah that was okay that's yeah that's a, that's a good moment um, I, I, can I ask Jeremy and everyone actually did my intro sound rushed because I was so conscious of time did, was it clear it was clear okay was I thought it was a beautiful summary actually oh. of activities thank you Anna. that's very kind <laughs> Hey, Jeremy, you had mentioned something about two weeks from now, something, something. I, I missed that. 
Um, yeah, so this is not actually the final session of our learning journey. The final session is in <laughs> two weeks from now. And what we'll be doing is we'll debrief both this call and the whole, the whole thing. So the, the, the next session will be an ode to what, so what, now what. Okay. And so, I like the word recital, by the way, that's really darling. Yeah, I know. It, it, it I, I, I don't like it. I, I, I'm so much more like trial by fire is like speak to the like the 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 manliness in me, right? But like recital is like exactly the word. I, I wish I could find a better word for it, but it's like it's just it's adorably cute. It's like, ah, oh, yeah, you know. I, th I think it's a production, but recital gives it a sort of a, a, a less intimidating quality. <laughs> well, and that uh, you need an audience, you know. Mm. Recitals need audiences. I think it's a perfect word. Yeah. Oh, can I just say something? I've realized that actually what I put in the chat included nominating a person to take notes and share highlights. So, Eileen, you might just need to say that we're not going to do that if that's the case, because I put in the original instruction. It, it, I don't know, it just seems kind of a little disruptive to get all these messages. I think I'll just, is it okay if I just leave it? What, is, what does the group think? So the, so the message says, please nominate a person to take simple notes and share any highlights from your small, small group in a larger group discussion. So they might come back expecting to do that and then just be surprised. I, I don't know what. It, it's just not going to be important. There will, there will be someone who has something to say whether they took notes or not. And there will be people here for whom it's important to hear what that person had to say. Yeah. The notes are entirely incidental. No, 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 I wasn't thinking about the notes. I was thinking about whether people think they Think they're going to share but Eileen it's entirely up to you you are the conductor of this well, bit of the orchestra um yeah I would just find it in small groups when there's a lot of messages coming through and kind of lose my train of thought so um just what is there for me to do in in wrapping up when since you're going to do the the water call Eileen well I mean there'll be um very little time. We have, um, the, they're coming back at, at 2.50. And so I don't know if I should ask one person to share because it can take a long time or share quickly, or if I should just go right into waterfall. And then I don't know if you want to just ask, I mean, I don't know how we could close this out. If anybody would like to share um, something that really they, they, they're excited That's about. It something they're excited about going forward. I, I think that that's it. Um, I would emphasize rather than um, you know, inviting one person to who might have a lot to say to, to invite a few people if they have something very brief to say. In fact, to make it clear that they're not getting minutes, that they're getting seconds. Like, do you have a quick takeaway in, 10 to 30 seconds to share. Uh -huh. May I ask a quick question? Because I just want to make sure I do this at the right time. At what point do I put in the chat the the waterfall now, the kind of next bit? Is it immediately when they come back or, or do you want me to uh, wait a bit? I'm not sure that you need to because I'll, I'll just okay. tell them. Fine. Um, yeah, I'll just tell Brilliant. them. Yeah. That's fine, fantastic. Yeah. No, I was just saying, like, I don't ever do any of these things without having a tech person to do all this. <laughs> so I'm not, um, yeah. Yeah. I, I did a workshop yesterday using a technology of participation structure, which was really interesting. And I had a tech person and I was so pleased because of all these kind of Zoom issues and she, but she had to keep putting stuff back in the chat. It was like, oh. 
What's technology of participation? Um, so it's another set of interaction patterns and it's um, from the Institute of Cultural Affairs. It's really interesting, but it's something called a consensus um, decision workshop. There's an engagement workshop where you get people together and um, I, I can talk to you about it another time, Anna, if you're interested. It's really, really oh, yes. I'd I, I want to talk. I want to talk forever about the Institute of Cultural Affairs. I, somebody somebody sent me like the, this list of docs that are like 50 years old that are produced mm -hmm. and I've just been going through them there's so much cool stuff in there it really feels like it really feels like I, I have inherited like uh, a tradition in some very meaningful way it's, it's very cool stuff wow that's super that's cool awesome. yeah yeah I'm su super keen yeah, super keen to, yeah. if there's any like links or anything you could share, Jeremy and Sonali, I'd love mm -hmm. that. So in fact, Anna, if I'd, I, I should, yeah. I, so I got up at six in the morning on Saturday and dialed into a meeting in Hong Kong, their chapter, the, the, um, the, uh, the, um, it's the facilitation, I can't, um, the IAF, which I'm a member of, and uh, and I dialed in, and it was the most incredible experience. It was like a workshop within a workshop. It was three hours on Saturday morning, and it was fabulous. And then I used <sighs> that on Monday at my with my client. All right, send us stuff. We want to know more. Absolutely. Yeah, Sonali, I want to hear more too. I do. Yeah, it was brilliant. And Jeremy, I'd love to see your materials as well. Oh, we've got 20 seconds. The countdown begins. Okay. I don't have to close the room. It just happens automatically, right, Jeremy? Yep. Yeah, there will actually be a one minute kicker that chimes off. I've got two of my nieces in this session, by the way. <laughs> Time is up. Do you want to close the breakout rooms now? I've got the... Do I just click? It's, it's given me the prompt. I just say close now. Right? Yeah, I'm going to close. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. See, I understand the 60 second countdown. Gotcha. I loved going into these emergent communities where more and more stuff keeps emerging. <laughs> more ideas. Hey there. Riding the upward spiral, my friends. <laughs> Creating possibilities that create possibilities. Coolest thing ever. What's up, Tyler? Are you back home yet? I am back home. Good to see you, Jeremy. Back in Minnesota. <laughs> Worst timing ever. Worst yep. timing ever. Three winter storms we've already had. So. Oh, man. <laughs> this know, meeting man. is being recorded. <laughs> okay, welcome back, everybody. Um, we have one final uh, thing that we're going to do before we close out, and that is the so what question. And so I want you to just think for a moment about what you experienced today and what are you taking away from here today that you can use tomorrow, something that's kind of actionable. Um, and so I want you to think about what that might be, this new awareness that you have. And then what I'd like you to do is we're going to use the waterfall technique where you put it into the chat box. Um, but you don't hit send until you hear the word three when I count to three. So just think about something that you want to do tomorrow based on this experience today um, and some actionable thing that you want to do differently. Put it in the chat box. And when I say three, um, then you hit enter. Could you repeat the question? I wasn't. Uh, what are you taking away from here that you can use tomorrow?
So when you finish typing um, without hitting enter, just um, like look up so I'll know that you're done. <laughs> okay. Okay, so when I say three, everybody hit enter and um, we'll see what we have. One, two, three. These are beautiful. <laughs> so I'm going to turn this over to Ray. Thank you. So we have just about five minutes left and uh, we made a decision that we were going to commit to getting out of here everyone on time. So we have a very little bit of time with which we can use in some magical way. Just that if there's any one or two people who briefly have something that they would like to to share that they feel really strongly everyone needs to know that it's something that you're going to take away from here, then, then please share it with us. And if no one has anything, then we will allow for Jeremy and, and Vera to say anything that they might like to, to wrap up and close this out. Feel free to unmute yourself. Going once, going twice. I'll quickly put out there that I thought it was really interesting, um, like the cultural angle of isolation that people brought up. I think um, I, I haven't been in a lot of spaces that have uh, tried to tackle that question. And it's, it's just very interesting to me. I appreciate people bringing it up. Thank you, Lisa. Anyone else? Going once, going twice. I think Rachel put up her hand. Rachel, oh, uh -huh. please. Um, I think the thing that I, I find um, really helpful that has never really occurred to me before in quite this way is that you have a room or you know a group of people and and I think the assumption is we all know why we're there and what's going to happen um, you know because everyone got the notes and all of that but that that everybody shows up with different needs and wants and expectations different unexamined unexplored expectations um, and and if those aren't met then people, feel hurt or they feel excluded in some way, but how can you know that if you don't talk about it? So the idea that maybe every meeting needs to start with a conversation about what are you hoping to get today? Why are you here? Um, so that we don't assume that everybody is thinking the same thing, so. Thank you. Is there anyone here who never says anything that really should, that you know in your heart there's something that you should share with all of us. This time is for you. Yeah, I want to tell one thing that I just uh, grasped, that uh, this thing of uh, like listening, it's uh, like a door to metacommunication. Like uh, it's not only listening with the ears. You can when like when you listen, you can listen. Uh, like you know, also in other ways. So, but it was just like an intuition. So I'll practice. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thank you, Vera, Jeremy. Any thoughts? Yes. In closing. Well, um, a big, big thank you, um, first of all, to everyone showing up and to our great group here who has been facilitating it, being brave and 
doing everything from the breakout rooms over the chat and uh, the front of the house exactly so maybe a big uh, applause you can put on exactly I see already Steve putting that there so big 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 thank you um, and um, I think I hand it over also to Jeremy who wants to share the places where you can practice in the future as well if you want to learn more about liberating structures there's mute yeah for sure thank you everybody for like i said for attending to this um this is the first rodeo for a lot of these folks so your your presence and participation and witnessing that um is a very powerful ritual um that um but it's this is a sacred thing and i really 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 thank you guys for for uh witnessing their start um uh, it's so funny like i know that this is the right space where i should be like extra chilly and be like hey register for this next for this next learning journey cohort and like all this stuff but it, it, it feels genuinely inappropriate for the gratitude i have for your participation in this space and yet i'm gonna do it you know? so let me just push any enter anyway because i gotta i gotta i, I gotta i got mouths to feed man um these are liberating structures. Every one of these tools is part of this repertoire that many of you you know, and some of you don't. Um, if you'd like to learn more about them, there is a uh, there is of course this meetup group uh, where we organize all types of different opportunities to learn and practice with one another. Um, there's there's just good times to be had. There's there's local groups. Uh, I think la at last count there was like two hundred different local groups. We're across the time boundary. So if you got to run, get out of here. If you have more time to hang out, um, I've got time to hang out. Thanks everybody for participating. Oh yeah, I already forgot. Too bad, too late. Mm, thank you. Uh, Simona has her hand up. Well. <laughs> no okay i see <laughs> oh man oh shit i forgot to give everybody their poets oops if you want a participation badge send me your email in the dms here or whatever however you know to get a hold of me in the dm would be probably the best for me right here and now um Oh yep. Good thing I recorded this. I'm I'm literally going to like have to watch this whole thing and like uh, track ask you guys your help in getting these bad participation just into everybody's hand. It's gonna be a nightmare. Oops. Well, always good to end on a oops. You know, we're we're just ordinary people, you know. What's up, Sino? Anybody else? Yeah, no, I just wanted to uh, thank you for inviting me today to this session. Um, I, I, this is a hangout time. So I just wanted to thank you, Jeremy, for putting this up. Um, and I wanna thank also Bruno for uh, being behind me all these uh, past weeks also for me to put like my hand deeper into liberating structures and sociocracy. And I see that with what, what we're building also with um, the other structures uh, we definitely should uh, implement what you do. It's uh, super amazing. And like I said in the tweet I just sent, you're just a super coordinator, man. You guys are, are great. So uh, shout out to Weiss Crowd Dow. You're in it now. So, mwahaha. <laughs> Anybody else? Just bye bye and thanks a lot. Bye. Nice day. All right. Just a big thank you from me. Thanks, everyone. It was lovely. Thank you, Christina. Great to connect. Right. Thank you. You did it, nerds. Congratulations. Yeah. Congratulations. You did really, really beautifully. Maybe just a quick round of 
of how you're feeling and 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 what your first impression was and we're doing the the, the bigger debrief of course last uh, the next time when we see each other so maybe just in the order of how i see you ray you are the first one that i see i am so amused i i can't even imagine what it was that i was a little bit stressed about that everything just was was fine it was easy and um definitely going to start to really use more of these practices because i know that there's much more to learn but i feel like i have cracked the essence of the principles and and it is is great so i'm just so delighted i i can't stop smiling <laughs> Thank you. It was a really nice close out that you did, Ray. I appreciated the the way you framed that, and the, there's a lot of sensitivity in that about bringing out the the quietest voices in the in the group. So I I uh, it was a perfect way to end. So yeah. So next one in my row is Sonali. Hi. Yeah, I thought that was lovely, and I thought it was. Um... Yeah, it just seemed really smooth. So thank you to everyone. Mm -hmm. Anna, you're the next one in my row. Uh, yeah, I just feel it's lovely to see how like cooperative and warm and open and flexible everyone is, whether it was our group or those that came and that spirit of um, community and cooperation was just really alive. And ditto, I love that ending, um, Ray, the, that general sense of that invitation that was very warm. So, yeah, well done, everyone. It was great. <laughs> Sarah, you are next. Yeah, I loved it. Um, and, uh, yeah, even, even the sometimes of confusion just, just worked out smoothly because we were a lot of people and everyone could step in and help and uh, and it worked and uh, um, yeah I, I really I, the topic was going from isolation to delightful group interaction and we already had this delightful group interaction um, between the, us so that was uh, beautiful to see and um, by the way I was not worried it could not work out <laughs> and uh and it did so um i'm feeling good it was a great experience and the topic um was very very interesting mm -hmm. i i never thought i i never deep dive uh how to say did dive deep <laughs> into into this and uh well, i was surprised uh what came up so Great topic, great team, um, great moment. Thanks. Thank you. Bruno. Yeah, I think the most beautiful thing, uh, most beautiful thing I'm taking away from this uh, this session is that even when sometimes I was like a little bit like uh, panic, panic in the room, there's fire, um, but then there was always somebody that got uh, somebody on his back. So that, that was really nice. Mm -hmm. Check. Thank you. By the way, I, I, I loved how you brought in the, the slides. I'm uh, <laughs> They were kind of like a surprise effect, but they, they were really kind of, I, I really loved that you, that you did that. So thank you for that. All right. Bruno, Luke. I'm not sure if you saw that, but that was Vera's main takeaway from the whole thing is I got to do slides like in Zoom like Vera. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Luke. First of all, yeah, I'd love to give a huge shout out to uh, Vera and Jeremy. Thank you guys so much for bringing us along this journey. It was absolutely incredible to experience, especially today. It was. I found it really funny how our topic was about going from isolation, where in the beginning, some people were literally isolated in a room alone, not talking to anyone, to going to, okay, now we're having delightful group interaction. I think the moment we started only only good vibes everywhere everybody was having a good time talking all the groups that i were in we had really really good conversation really really good um 
synergy within one another. And I think that was because of, uh, of uh, addressing this problem of isolation in the beginning. And because of that, it just set the vibe for the rest of the, the call. And I think that was really, really powerful. So once again, I'd really like to thank you guys for, for this entire experience. I learned a lot. Thank you, Lisa. Um, yeah, I don't know what new I have to add. I, I really enjoyed the chaos um, more than I thought that I would. Uh, I thought I would be more stressed out, but it was kind of really nice to just be sent into a breakout room and then pulled back and then sent into a new one and meet all these different people. And uh, it, it was it was nice to sort of be like on this fence of like participant facilitator. Um, it was fun. So yeah, I, I, I thank everyone for for all of our hard work. Uh, and yeah, it was a lovely, lovely experience. Thank you, Vera and Jeremy as well. Thank you. All right, thanks. Naomi. Yeah, I want to echo everything everyone has said. I mean, I can't believe how many people actually showed up. Um, I was kind of, that's when I started to have a little bit of freaking out, like, oh, I didn't think it was gonna be this many people, oh shit. Um, but it was really chill and yeah, the chaos was really, I mean, I think most people were kind of entertained by it. And it was funny, I was in a, I was in a group also with four people and like the other, uh, yeah, the first group of four people, the other uh, pair, they were like, oh, we were in our own isolation room. So that was my most recent experience of isolation, mm -hmm. cracking <laughs> jokes, you know? So yeah, 10 out of 10, I would do it again. Um, yeah, really fun. Thank you, everybody. Okay. All right, Simona, thank you. I did, I did the vote of silence. I learned how to use breakout rooms, finally. So thank you very much. Uh, like usually, volunteering, learning by experience, the life motif of my life. Uh, yes, I think I what I get home is really this part of the lead the meta communication bit that I really want to it opened the door for me. So yeah, thanks. This was I don't know if you are used to it, but I don't. So for me it's very it's very important. Thanks. Thank you. Andrew. Yeah. Um I feel like every uh uh, liberating structures interaction I've had now, which is probably 10 to 15, has been more chaotic than normal things that I'm expecting. Um, and I, I, I now assume that's part of the program <laughs> that needs to be a little bit of uh, chaos, but they, they've always ended up being very rich, warm, emotional experience of interaction. And I, um, it was it was interesting for me to watch my controlling tendencies coming in and so forth. And you know, there's there's some unpleasantness that people may be experiencing, maybe causing whatever, and that if we can just be chill about whatever turbulence there is and whatever unpleasantness there is, there's all of this good, juicy, emotional interaction just bottled up and just sort of ready to be unlocked. It just feels like everybody's ready to take Zoom to the next level. And this is like, no, you know, this is like the heart of Zoom. Let's do this. <laughs> it, it can be warm basically yeah thank you yeah okay last but not least unai mm, yeah as usually like uh surprised by the power of liberating structures it's it's always super nice to see how people enjoy um with these structures and it's always fun um <clears throat> to be with you and and and, and to listen to some of Jeremy's, um, yeah, what he forgot and so on. It, it was just laughing so much. Check. All right, thank you. Thank you very much. All right, um, Jeremy, you want to go first and I go, go very quickly or um, do you want to close it off? No, I don't, I don't, I don't want to end. Uh, I don't want it to end. <laughs> um, hmm really just good good well done again well done like you guys did this i mean we, i mean we did it together 
there. Yay. <laughs> Yeah, and for me, it was also. I'm. I'm really. I. I was excited slash anxious up front, and I. I also want want to kind of tell you how well you did, and uh, and and also for me, it was just like you know, you go out and you do it with whatever preparation, as good preparation as you can, and the rest will come. And I'm always surprised also how. I mean, people come with good intentions and good expectations, and and that's also serving us as facilitators in a way. So that's also a beautiful thing to to see. But basically, also a big, big thank you, shout out, uh, an applause for you of how you've been doing that. So that was really beautiful, and uh, I look forward to a more detailed debrief slash feedback uh, session the next time, and then we'll see how we take that step further. Also with uh, whatever meetup continuing learning journey uh you you guys want to, want to go have in mind etc so i wish you a wonderful day for those who it's the beginning or the middle of the day and and a good night for us who, here in europe <laughs> all right thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. see you next time bye bye, bye. 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 All right. All right, Jess. Bye. <laughs> Woo! How are you doing, Jeremy? Well, that was dope. That I was mean, good. They really did such a good job of like adjusting on the fly. Like yeah, really, 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 really good. Yeah, 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 yeah. Really, really good. Yeah. So um are we gonna need to prepare something for the next time, or are we gonna basically just see? what people uh what people want to share as feedback their wishes etc mm, no <laughs> um uh, or let me yeah i think we should prepare uh, i want to make sure that that's a well-organized session and uh, that gives both time to do justice to to this session thinking back about the whole the whole sort of trajectory and sort of what we've learned and then gives them a good chunk of time to sort of like decide hey you know who who wants to like carry forward in some form of way and what that might look like um and uh go from there okay um what what is a good uh, a good time for that shall we do the uh, we could do, for example, the 19th of January to prepare for that. The 19th is next week, Thursday. Uh, yeah, I can do in the morning. Yeah, me too. 10 o'clock. Yeah, we'll do it. So, so uh, how much time do you have uh, at 10? About two hours. Max, is that good? Yeah. Cool. And do you want to do that here, or do you want to? Is there? Can we meet up? Um. Now for meeting up, I'm afraid that's a little bit. What if I travel? If you travel to to Harlem, that's great. You want to travel to Harlem? Yeah. Then maybe, uh, could we even, no, that's good. Then we do that. Okay. All righty. Great. Bye. Kisses. Talk Kisses. to you then. Bye.